Jared scoring, just how big is it for your group? Uh, I mean, I think it's huge. I mean, that's when we're at our best, when everybody's confident, everybody's, you know, taking their shots um, and just, you know, trusting each other. You know, I think um, that's where it starts is just when you come out, to, come out um, to start the game, trusting your teammates and, you know, throwing them passes and moving the ball. I think everybody's confident in their shots. So I think we did a good job of that. You know, your group talked about having the time in between last game and in the game tonight uh, as a refresh, a reset. You know, how, how well do you feel you guys maximized that practice time and time in between? And, and how much did it show in the performance tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, I think that helped a lot um, to have those, you know, consecutive days to practice as a team um, and just focus on the stuff that, you know, we have been struggling with in the past, you know, three, four games where we were coming out sluggish, uh, stagnant on offense um, and not, you know, playing our best on defense. We were able to lock in and, you know, just get back to the basics. And um, I think that showed this game. Paolo, you had 25, 8 and 7, only rookie with multiple 25, 5 and 25, 5 and 5 games. Just, you know, how much of that is, is your game predicated on not only scoring, but kind of impacting the the glass and getting others involved. Yeah, uh, I just think that's always how I've been, you know, not really <clears throat> pressing the score and just, you know, trying to get my teammates involved. Um, got a lot of good players around, you know, on the team, you know, and they, and, you know, they, they need the ball. They need to, you know, get looks when they're open. And so that's partly my job to, to help do that. And, uh, you know, I think we were just well connected today. Um, and I just wanted to be aggressive, you know, whether that was being aggressive to score, being aggressive, you know, on the glass, being aggressive, you know, drawing uh, defenders and finding teammates, just being aggressive and having fun. After the last time you guys played, um, SGA was, was asked about you, said that, you know, gave you some compliments, but still kind of said that Chet was the more deserving pick as number one option player in the draft. I don't know if you heard that, um, but how, how much of that, you know, tonight is trying to, you know, get back at them and, and avenge that loss from that game? And I don't know if you heard that quote or not. Yeah. Yeah, I remember hearing that quote. Uh I mean, that's his teammate. He's supposed to say that, you know. Um, but now we, de I mean, I definitely felt like, you know, this game was a little bit of a payback just because, you know, we felt like we had them at, at their place. You know, we was up a good amount in the second half and kind of let them get back into it <clears throat> and lost. And, you know, it was a real frustrating loss. I, I just remember it being a frustrating loss on um, that game specifically. Um, so, yeah, definitely wanted to come out and get this win and just, you know, send them home. Paolo, I know you're coming off the Rookie of the Month yesterday, but you know with your performance, it's been consistent. How would you compare what you've done this year to perennial all-stars and kind of the elite players in this league at your position? Uh, yeah, um, you know, I'm not sure where those guys are at. You know, with their with their um, numbers or whatever. I just. You know, want to come into this league and just make my presence be felt. You know, obviously being number one pick, it's always going to be expectations, um, and you know. Just, you know, I think Jason Tatum, you know, before I got to the NBA, he, he kind of said something to me that always stuck with me just throughout, you know, getting to Orlando and building up to the season. Um, he just had, remember him telling me, you know, that I had everything I needed to, you know, be a good NBA player. But, you know, it was up to me, you know, how good I wanted to be and, you know, I was going to have to go out and take it. You know what I'm saying? He, he made that very clear. Just like nothing's going to be given to you when you get to this league. Nothing's going to be um, handed to you. No opponent's going to take it easy on you. In fact, they're going to, me being the person, you know, in the position I am, they're going to, you know, try and stop me and make it hard for me even more, you know? So, and I just never forgot that. And so every every game, every um, every day, I'm trying to come out and just prove every game, you know, that, you know, I'm, I'm a, uh, you know, a problem. And um, that, you know, you're going to have to deal with me. You know, I'm not – obviously, I know you're going to try and stop me and stop this team, but, you know, we got, we're going to keep on coming and uh, going after it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my mentality. Back uh, tonight, the defense really was kind of leading, was leading the way. You guys held Oklahoma City to, I think, 30 points in the paint, you know, well below, well below their season, at, season average. How, how critical is the defense to kind of feeding the offense and kind of, kind of guiding you guys through here? Uh, yeah, I think that's that's our calling card as a team. I mean, if we're playing good defense, um, we usually play good offense. Um, that's just been the, the common um, common thing that I think, you know, has stuck with us this year. 
And um, so we just got to be, you know, be able to bring that effort as much as we can every night, every game. Um, I think tonight, like you said, keeping them out of the paint was the biggest, um, biggest thing we had to do. And um, I think we did a good job of that. You know, they hit some threes, but at the end of the day, you know, they're, they live in the paint and that's where they kill teams at. Um, they had like 70 something, 70 plus on Boston last night. So that was our main focus and we did a really good job. Coaches talk throughout the, throughout the course of the season about the by committee approach for you guys. You know, being down as the guys you were down down tonight. How, how big were the minutes that you got from Caleb, from RJ, from Terrence, and, and the lift that you guys guys got got from them, especially in, the, in that first half and throughout the game? Yeah, uh, that was huge. Caleb, I mean, Caleb T. Ross, um, both were huge. I mean, I think Caleb. I don't know what I don't know what the stats are, but I wouldn't be surprised if he leads us in offensive rebounds or. He might not lead us, but if you, I bet you if you did like a per minute offensive rebound, I, I'm willing to bet he number one. So give a lot of credit to him just always crashing and then T. Ross doing what he do, which is knocking down shots, playing confident, and, and everybody else who came in there and contributed. I mean, it was a big help everywhere. Paolo, I didn't see the video on this, but I read on Twitter before you came in here that you said on the broadcast that your resolution for the New Year is to make the play-in. Is that correct? Yeah. So how? So well, I, I wouldn't, that's not a resolution, but I think it's a goal. Yeah. Okay. So for the goal, obviously you're not there yet, but uh -huh. what do you need to do for yourself and for your team in order to accomplish that goal? Um, I I think just <clears throat> more of you know what we've been doing most most of the time these past three weeks just and finding a way to just channel that, bottle it up, and, and bring it every game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had, like I said, three, four games stretch where we kind of sluggish. But before that, we were we were clicking on all cylinders. So, you know, tonight felt like that a little bit, you know, even without the guys that we were missing. And so tomorrow we get them back, and then we head on the road. So just trying to bottle that bottle that um, energy up and, you know, use it every game, and I think we'll have a good, a good shot. Hey, Paolo, Eduardo Vidal for Hispanic Sports Media. In the time you have been playing in the league, how will you evaluate your uh, adaptation to the NBA game? Uh, I think I'm adapting, you know, as I go. Um, obviously, I think I got a lot to work on, but, you know, I think I have a pretty good idea of, you know, just where I want to get on the floor um, and what reads I have to make. I think I got to get sharper in, like, making those reads and, you know, making a second read and whatnot. Um, but yeah, offense and defensively, I think I have a pretty good idea of, you know, where I'm going to be most of the time on the floor. I think it's just a matter of, you know, being better and just um, refining everything. So, you know, I think uh, I think it's been a successful start and uh, just a lot to work on. Excited. Thank you, Paolo. Yes, sir.